uh, disappointing. Maybe you guys were expecting a different panel. Uh, <laughs> unfor unfortunately, um, when you are organizing events, um, there are things that aren't under your control. Uh, so we lost a family member for one of the panelists in the debate. Uh, so he could not come here. Uh, we are really sorry for the loss. Uh, but what we as the collective promise is that um, that debate on secularism, I think it's a really important debate. That's why we included the debate in, in this event of Project Sambath. Uh, I think we need to have more open conversations around secularism. And what we can promise as part of the collective is that we are going to organize a debate uh, separately out of Project Sambath. Uh, and then uh, we'll reach out to uh, you all for, for invitations. And then maybe um, sometime in the immediate future, you'll be seeing that uh, coming up. Um, the other bad news was that some of you might be wondering, what's hmm. this guy doing here? <laughs> 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 I don't see his... <laughs> Uh, photo in <laughs> um, in the program schedule, um, but uh, one of our other panelists for um, Nisha Onta was supposed to be here, uh, the executive director at GovLab. Uh, she had to go out of the country for a medical emergency, um, and then it was really really thankful for Sagar that uh, he actually took. Uh, the challenge to really step up and be part of this conversation so late into uh, the program. Thank you, Sagar. Um, uh, the panelists here today need no introduction. Uh, Sagar Parsai and JB Bisakarma. Um, I think all of you know um, the two panelists. Um, if you don't know, Google them up and then uh, we don't uh, waste time. Well, um, those of you who know me, I, you really know me as somebody who doesn't like working when it's 1 p.m. on a Friday. Um, so I'm just trying to act cool and casual so that um, we take up the time till we open up the networking session. So please be here for that. Um, this particular session, um, uh, before I begin on reflections of uh, uh, the paradoxes of Nepali civil society, I think it is really important to reiterate um, the whole idea of Project Sambat uh, because this is the last session and it makes sense that um, we kind of back end this with the conversations but also the idea of why we started this. Um, it was really an attempt to forge a coalition between like-minded Nepali institutions who want to think. And when we kind of moved ahead with this idea that we need to come together and start thinking, um, we did recognize that there were, there were things that we had to think that was relevant for a very wide audience. And I think this has been reflected in, in several conversations um, yesterday and today that uh, the conversations that have been happening here, maybe this is really meaningful and we need to take this conversation outside. We understand this. I think this is not something that we have negated from the very beginning. But for this iteration of, of Project Sambad, uh, the design of the sessions were really focused on taking these conversations and keeping them within this community of thinkers, really trying to explore the maturity of these conversations, um, these ideas within think tanks and institutions like us. Uh, and maybe when there is um, some agreement when we stand together, uh, we might differ in opinions, but when we start to think about, okay, these are relevant ideas, we need to take them outside. In, in future iterations, we really do hope to take these conversations outside, uh, engage more widely, but really it was by design that we, we are keeping this uh, really small uh, and a niche conversation so that that is manageable at our end, also because this is the first um, edition of the program. In future editions, we uh, plan to take this forward. Uh, I would really kind of underscore that. Um, uh, I've introduced the uh, panelists. Um, the, the task for me is basically um, is to talk about the paradoxes in Nepali society and kind of bookend the conversations we've had. Um, and the nature of conversations we have had, uh, I think, stretch across multiple 
multiverses of conversations. Uh, and when we uh, initially designed Project Sambad, that, that idea was uh, really uh, an attempt to take the conversations that were happening in drawing rooms within small circles and then putting them out there. And this, this is the, the setup of the program, the audience, everything's kind of uh, an attempt to mimic that. Um, and one of the favorite things that we like to talk about in, in our own drawing rooms is politics, right? And this is one of the biggest paradoxes of, uh, of the Nepali society. Um, I think following up the session that we just had on federalism, a lot of paradoxes discussed there, a lot of things that were said there. And even yesterday, uh, across several sessions, I think we extensively talked about politics. And this is the first paradox I want to begin with. Before doing that, just a quick um, engagement with the audience, mandatory. Um, when I say uh, politics, uh, can somebody take an attempt to say the first few words that come to your mind? What does it mean? Politics. Nepali politics, be more specific. Unhealthy, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Move to next. Old. Next. 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 It is like. <laughs> next. <laughs> it is like playing in like a. <laughs> That's too long. <laughs> <laughs> One word. All right. The broad idea is like uh, when, when somebody says Nepali politics, this is not even something mildly positive. You know, <laughs> all of these words. There's nothing even mildly positive, and everybody understands this, right? It almost feels like Nepali politics is a roller coaster ride. And I have, I have something really funny written up, and I'm going to read it out to you guys. That it looks like a, a roller coaster loop, infinite roller coaster loop, and this is one. This one is in Nepali. So somebody who is translating, please. Um, this is this is the fate of how we engage with Nepali politics. Uh, Nepali politics le dhere uh, agargami steps haru pani leko cha tara bidam bana chai hami jasto manche uh, researchers like us general nepali citizens who make one word remarks about nepali politics like you guys have it looks very different right so this is where i want to begin and jb i think i, I want to begin with you on on this particular uh, idea of nepali politics um, yesterday there was a discussion. Kura ki baatiyo banda ki di chay yo rajya ko pravirti ne iste khal ko yum pipe justo banne ko apai rathi ki first session mein chay in the sense that already bade jo chire bani pasadi nisi ne mein chay tiste honsa. It's like yum pipe. Yo amro rajya ko bhikti ko samasya ho ki bevasta ko ho ki rajya ko ho ki sarkar ko ho ki. Where have we gone wrong with our political imagination? Where is that disconnect? What is, what is your idea? Thank you. It's a very good question. I think that if you don't have a lot of politics, it's a very good paradox. I was in school, 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 I was in What we have taught them is, politics is a dirty game. You have a true paradox over the Malaxaki. I mean, Razniti Buja Rasma, one great to me, more to Punukurasa. Zoba Razniti Tik Dangali Buja in a Razniti Stevens, one name of Nisuma saying, Kinavane, Ki Razniti, Ami Zaso, Zaha Ubira Gopari Dakigaso, while Jun Porivisma, your Samaji Granitic Porivisma, your Razniti Gopozo. Even Agi Punkura Boy, Amli, Bulna Pound is certain Trakura, Razniti Gorna Pound is certain Trakura, Karakram Gorna Pound is certain Trakura, Wa. प्रतिनिधि सुनने में सुनने मात्रे कुरा हुए ना कि आपनो प्रतिरोध का आवाज बोल बोलना पाओ नहीं स्वतंत्र आपने राजनीति देख का कुरा हुआ तो इस कारण ले मौसा क्या वंशु बंदा खेरे यो ऐले जी आय मिले बोगी रहे का सों आज जी आय मिले पाये रहे का सों पाये को कुरा राजनीति को पसो एक दूसरे कुरा से जब आमी राजनीति � 
यो प्रश्नको हल खोजिएन भने चाहिँ के हुन्छ होला जस्तो लाग्छ भने कि हामी राजनीतिलाई गाली गरिराख्ने मात्रै पुस्ता बन्छौ कि वा साच्चै कि हामी राजनीतिक पावर एक्सरसाइज गर्ने पुस्ता बन्छौ भन्ने प्रश्नको उत्तर पनि खोज्नु पर्छ कि अहिले भइराखेको कुरा मैले आम रूपमा देखेको कुरा चाहिँ के छ भने राजनीति गलत हो भन्ने राजनीति हामीले गरिराखेका छौँ कि यो प्रश्नबाट पनि हेर्न सुरु गरौँ भन्ने लाग्छ पहिलो कुरा त्यस कारणले सैद्धान्तिक हिसाबले भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ के भन्दाखेरि राजनीति आफैमा फोहोरी हुँदैन राजनीति आफैमा गलत चिज होइन कि हामी सबै राजनीतिका उपज हौँ मैले यहाँ बसेर बोल्न पाउने स्वतन्त्रता पनि राजनीतिको उपज हो यो कुरामा प्रस्तुत हुनुपर्छ होला जस्तो लाग्छ एउटा दोस्रो कुरा नेपाली राजनीति कस्तो हो भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ फेरि अर्को रमाइलो कुरा छ कि तपाईँले जे भन्नुभयो कि नेपाली राजनीतिको इमेजिनेसन के थियो भनेर हेर्ने हो भने अलि अगाडि जाँदाखेरि हिजो पनि छलफल भयो आज पनि छलफल भयो अलि अगाडि जाँदाखेरि चाहिँ निरङ्कुश परिवारले गरिराखेको दोहन निरङ्कुश परिवारले जनतामाथि थोपरिराखेको दमनको विरुद्ध लड्नुपर्छ र सामान्यत कम्तीमा आधार स्वतन्त्रता पाउनुपर्छ राजनीतिक अधिकार पाउनुपर्छ भन्ने लडाइँ थियो एक कि हामीले परिकल्पना गरेको वा नेपालमा परिकल्पना गरेको राजनीति त्यो थियो दोस्रो कुरा के थियो जस्तो मलाई लाग्छ भने कि ऐतिहासिक रूपमा नेपाली समाजमा विभेद छ अहिले पनि छ त्यो जातका नाममा छ त्यो लिङ्गको नाममा छ त्यो भाषाको नाममा छ त्यो संस्कृतिको नाममा छ व्यापक खालका विभेदहरू छन् त्यसको त्यसको सर्जक हो त्यहाँ पुग्नुपर्छ होला कि हामी हामीले अहिलेको दिनमा भोगिराखेको समग्र समस्याको जड पनि पोलिटिक्स नै हो फेरि कि कस्तो राजनीति भयो विगतमा कि एउटा खलकका मान्छेले निरन्तर शासन चलाइराख्ने एउटा परिवारमा जन्मेका कारणले त्यो पनि छोरा भएका कारणले मात्रै प्रधानमन्त्री हुन पाउने त्यस्तो खालको निरङ्कुशताको अन्त्य गर्ने राजनीति थियो कुनै बेला त्यो कुरा ठिक थियो भन्ने लाग्छ तेस्रो कुरा मैले आज जोड्न खोजेको के भन्दाखेरि कि यो नेपालमा अहिले गरिबीको बहस पनि हुन्छ विभेदको बहस पनि हुन्छ कि हामीले धेरै राजनीति कहाँनिर गरेनौँ जस्तो लाग्छ भने कि त्यसको स्रोत के हो भन्ने हाम्रो बहस पुगेन त्यस कारण अहिलेको राजनीति पनि साह्रै गडबड छ भन्ने मलाई लाग्छ स्रोतमा पुगेनौँ भन्नुको अर्थ चाहिँ के हो भने कि पितृसत्ता बनाइदिने र जगाइदिने वा त्यसको त्यसको मजबुत गर्ने संस्कृति कसले बनाइदियो अब हिस्ट्रीमा हेर्नुपर्छ कि ती राजनीतिक शासकहरूले नै बनाइदिए जो निरङ्कुश थिए जात व्यवस्थाको निर्माण कसले गरिदियो कि सिङ्गो समाजमा तहगत संरचना हुने र एउटाले अर्कोलाई निरन्तर रूपमा दमन गर्नुपर्ने श्रृङ्खला कसले बनाइदियो त्यो पनि राजनीतिले बनायो कुनै खालको एकाधिकारवादी जातिवादी राजनीतिले बनायो त्यो कुरा जसरी महिलाहरूमाथि उत्पीडन गर्ने पितृसत्तावादी राजनीतिले बनायो त्यसैगरी श्रृङ्खलाबद्ध विवाद गर्ने कुरा फेरि जातिवादी राजनीतिले गयो किन यो राजनीतिको जगमा हामी पुग्नुपर्छ भन्ने लाग्छ मलाई कि त्यसको बाट त्यो खालको विभेद त्यो खालको अपराध त्यो खालको हिंसा त्यो खालको अत्याचारबाट मुक्ति पाउने राजनीति चाहिँ कुनै बेला थियो भन्न सक्छु कि त्यसको परिणाम के आयो म भनौँ होला पछि चौथो कुरा चाहिँ हामीले किन राजनीति कस्तो परिकल्पना थियो भनेर हेर्नु छ भने अहिले भएकै विभेदको सन्दर्भको कुरा गर्ने हो भने आदिवासीहरूको सभ्यता हेऱ्यौँ कि आदिवासीहरूको सभ्यता एकदम पृथक खालको सभ्यता थियो अझ हेर्ने हो भनेदेखि त्यो स त्यो अलि विगतमा फर्केर हेर्ने हो भनेदेखि आदिवासी सत्ता एक तहको यो पितृसत्ता विरोधी सत्ता नै थियो भन्न सकिन्छ कि सामुदायिक अभ्यासहरू हुन्थ्यो त्यहाँ त्यो अर्थतन्त्रको मात्रै होइन शक्तिको पनि सामुदायिक अभ्यास हुने कुनै बेला बा अवस्था थियो थारूहरूको हेर्नुहुन्छ भने थारूहरूको पनि एउटा सभ्यता चाहिँ यति डेमोक्रेटिक खालको पोलिटिकल गभर्निङ सिस्टम थियो कुनै बेला त्यो कुराले ध्वस्त कसले बनायो र हामी त्यो ध्वस्त बनाइराखेर आएको र अहिलेसम्म सबैभन्दा खराबी गरेका चिजलाई मात्रै राजनीति भनिरहेको छौँ त्यो कुरा हो त्यो कुरा ठिक हो जस्तो मलाई लाग्दैन कि गलत राजनीति भइरहेको छ र पाँचौँ कुरा चाहिँ मलाई के लाग्छ भने कि प्रत्येक व्यक्ति जबसम्म सम्मानित भएर बाँच्न सक्दैन उसको आत्मसम्मान उसको डिग्निटी इन्स्योर हुँदैन र त्यसको लागि काम गरिँदैन भने त्यो राजनीतिले पनि काम गर्दैन र हाम्रो पार्टीहरू किमा थोरै चर्चा गर्छु हाम्रो पार्टीहरूले के गरे भन्ने पनि आउनुपर्छ होला तपाईँले यसो याद होला कि दुई हजार सात सालमा नेपालमा क्रान्ति हुने बेला नेपाली कङ्ग्रेसले त्यति बेला भारतमा बसेर क्रान्तिको एउटा डिजाइन गर्ने किनकि नेपालमा बस्ने बात पनि थिएन केही नेताहरू भारतमा थिए त्यति बेला नेपालमा क्रान्ति गर्नुपर्छ त्यो आम जनतासम्म कुराहरू लिएर जानुपर्छ भनेर छलफल भयो र त्यहाँबाट केही प पोस्टरहरू सहित केही सामग्री लिएर नेपाल आउनु पर्ने भयो कुनै व्यक्ति र कुनै पनि त्यो त्यो पार्टीमा भएका केन्द्रीय समितिको मान्छेहरू तयार भएनन् र अन्तमा के गरियो भने निर्वासित भएर जीव निर्वासित जीवन बिताइराखेका एकजना डिबी परियार भन्ने व्यक्ति हुनुहुन्छ वा नेपाली फिल्मको पहिलो निर्देशक पनि हो सबैभन्दा जोखिममा पनि काम गर्न तयार छु नि त नेपालको लोकतन्त्रको लागि म काम गर्न तयार छु भनेर डिबी परियारले भारतबाट चर पर्चा पम्प्लिट सहित सामग्री लिएर आउने मान्छे विभिन्न नाका क्रस गर्दै आउने मान्छेको यो देशले सम्मान यो राजनीतिले सम्मान गरे कि गरेन भन्ने प्रश्नबाट सुरु गर्नुपर्छ होला गऱ्यो अब सुन एक दोस्रो कुरा बिपीले भनेको समाजवादको कुरा पनि साथ हिजो पनि भयो होला बिपीले नेप
ये तो पैराडॉक्स देखिए कुने बेला खुम्बायदुर खान का जेल बैठा निश्चित ना खेरी पीपीले बने को पंजाबांधरिक समाज बैठ को सभी बंदा मुख्य ओकारात करता चीं मौत ही है तेज कारण मलाई फसाई हो बने व्यक्ति रुक रहा हम जाओ ही मैं तेज रुक रहा कि पुष्पलाल अर्ली कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी शुरू करी थी कि तेज वाला एकदम प्रस्त दंगली बनी कुतियो कि स्वाम जीवी और उनको आत्मा सम जो जस्टली जो था जो अपने और को आत्मा जमीन उन पर सब बने बनी कुतियो कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी क जस्ली जीवन में कहीं ले पनी एक पड़क जमीन में अपनों पसीना रा रगत बगाया ना तेज को हाथ में बिगाव बिगाव जमीन इन परिस्थिति कॉलेज बनाए कुन राजनीति ले बनाया है ना तेरी मात्रे है ना कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी को यो पंचायत कालिन सिंखला ले रहे थे जहाँ तक खेरी कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी वाले लोग तंत्रिक सभी पार्टी वाले प साहारा राणा आपका खालक ले मात्रे शासन गरी रखने नेपाल को राजनीति में पंचायत सिद्धेरा फेरी फेरी अमी लोकतांत्रिक बनने वाला प्रजातांत्रिक बनने व्यवस्था में पुक्ता पनी कौस्को खालक ले शासन करियो ते अमी लिकुन राजनीति करियो महिला रो ऐसे संप्रदान मंत्री होना साके तो साके नन्हे दौली तो इस वक्त की डिस्कशन में अलग तो एक्सटेंड करने वाले कुछ ऐसे अब वो यूथ त्यों प्रोसेस में आउंगे कि आउंगे ना वन एक हाल को कुछ ऐसा नहीं होना सकता एकदम है वो तेज़ नहीं रहा मेरे अब अलग तो छोटे आरज़ जोड़ने होता है जैसे मैं उड़ा अलग तो त्यों राजनीति संदर्भ अलग तो तुम्हें तो आएंगे ना सब एक हाल को राजनीतिक आंदोलन बॉयस है कि पची सत्तालीस पची प्रजातंत्र आयो बनने पनी त्यो पची कित सीमित मानसिक रूप लागे मात्रे प्रजातंत्र आयो जिस कारण माओ वधि विद्रोह बाय हिस्टोरिकली ये दाखिले कोस देखने वाले संसार बोरी को कम्युनिस्ट आंदोलन ले ये नहीं है वने एकाएं सो सताप्ति को पू दलित औरों, मजदूर औरों, आदिवासी जनजाति औरों रा महिला औरों ले तो आंदोलन में अपनों रगतर पोषण बगाए रा अपेक्षा की गरे बंदा खेरी गणतंत्र बनने खाल को ये वड़ा राजनीति व्यवस्था आए बंदे खेरी देरे कुरा रो आम्र अपेक्षा पूरा उनसा बने अपेक्षा थियो बोले अगी किमलाल देवपुराले � तेती बेला परिकल्पना करें को कि स्वयंतता सहित को संगीता को जो परिकल्पना करी को थी हो कि जिसमें आदिवासी और को आदिवासी और माथी और इतिहासिक रूप में बैठ को उत्पीड़न को अंत्य होने पर से बनी परिकल्पना करें थी तो बॉय की बाय ना बने रहता है इसलिए राजनीतिक इशारे में क्या क्या स्थापित तो बॉय तो रात जोशली जेका लागी मुक्ति खोजे कुछ त्याग समय पुकने सके ना तो यही नहीं रहा हमें ले युवा ले जोड़ने पर निकला जो क्यों जो समय लाख समय हमें राजनीति ले ठीक दांगले बुच्चों की बुझ देना बने ने मुख्य प्रश्न वाला कि ऑयले को पार्टी सिस्टम ऑयले बनेगा पार्टी वाले बुझाया रहता राजनीति ठीक बुझी देना कि इनलाय हेरे तो अपनी राजनीति ठीक बुझी देना इनलाय हेरे तो बुझी ने राजनीति के दरसे बंदा विद्यार्थी ले सभी उस वापस दी बावने कोई पैसा कमाने बंदे मात्र बुझी दरसा प्रतिष्ठु वही ना कि आमिले राजनीति नहीं बुझने हो बने वह राजनीति लाय रूपांतरण करने बने युवाले फरक डंगले सोचने पर सा कि राजनीतिक शक्ति क्यों राजनीति केकल आई करें इंसान राजनीति ले अपने परिणाम क्यों बनने में आमिले रहना बंदे कि सही अंतत तो गोता फेरी कहाँ पुगी इंसान बंदा कि राजनीति करने बने को सांसद उन्हें मंत्री उन्हें रा कुने वेला जेल समय पुगने बनने मात्र परिकल्पना में पुगने की जस्ता लगी यू यू पॉलिटिकल इमेजिनेशन स्पेशली अब आगरी बोर्ड आके रिया मैं कौशल री करने बनने में आंगल आंगला सो अगर तो पहले कि ऐड करने पड़ने सो यू यू होल आइडिया ऑफ पॉलिटिकल इमेजिनेशन और इसको डिसकनेक्ट आमर नेपाली सोसाइटी में � तेज पची यो पॉलिटिक्स को मैकेनिक्स बढ़ाओ नुबो मज़े अली इसेंशियलिस्ट एंगल बढ़ाऊं चाहिए इसमें है ना मेरो नज़र में चाहिए पॉलिटिक्स इज़ अ परसूट ऑफ़ पावर यो परसूट ऑफ़ पावर बाढ़ अ पॉलिटिक्स का ये लेपनी अलग ही ना सक दे ना कि ना उन्हें एंड गेम जाइ लेपनी परसूट ऑफ़ पावर हो एंड प अरे करीब हिस्टोरिकल डिस्क्रिमिनेशन का कुरा आ रहा है पनी तेज़ ही बड़ा रीइंफोर्स पाएगा उनसे नहीं ना 
अब तेला तेसरी ऐने वाने आज वंदा तेईस से बरसा गाड़ी प्लेटो देखी ले रहा ये लाइक असरी सफा करने यो भोरी खेलो ये लाइक सफा कसरी करने बनने किसी में विभिन्न किसी का थियोरेटिकल सिचुएशंस और आये रह का था नहीं ना तेरे गेम से इसेंशियली डर्टी नहीं होना क्लीन करना सकिया था ना आई मीन एडवांस्ड आज इंडिया में क्या बैठा था ही ना त्याग को राजनीति पे नहीं खासे ही सफाई था ही ना अब अली दिन को कोरा वाला फिर ट्रंप ले जीत ला अमेरिका त्यो राजनीति लाको सरी है नहीं जिस कारण ले राजनीति लाई धेरे सफा चीज बनाऊं ना सकी नहीं ना तर जिस में दूसरा वाला दूसरा वाला तो क्यों बनी एक � पर क्या पेरे इनकम ब्रो हेल्थ ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशंस पर्टिकुलरली गवर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूशंस को कई हाथ समक कोरिलेशन था सही ना कॉस्टलिटी था ही ना कोरिलेशन था इसका अन्य अमी चौदह से डॉलर पर कैपिटल इनकम बाए को देश को राजनीति यहाँ वंदा एकदम विशिष्ट फर्क ढंग को ना सकला ना सकला इट इज जस्ट लेफ्ट टू � तेज माथी पर नहीं आये वड़ा अर्के ही एलिमेंट काम कर रहे को सर त्यो एलिमेंट क्या बंदे की काठमांडू को पर कैपिटल इनकम 2000 डॉलर बंदा स्लाइटली माथी था कर्नाली को सुदूर पश्चिम को 1000 को आरारी था मध्य इसको 900 को आरारी था रा आम रूप में हमरा सही पर्टिकुलरली रूरल गांव वरु कस्बा वरु मां but calculate it, it's about $600,000 or $800,000. Why is it that $2,000 per capita income is a good thing? $600,000 per capita income is a good thing. It's a good thing to judge. If you judge it, it's a gap. It's a gap. But if we have a good thing, 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 अथवा और उन्हें एलिमेंट्स में कती काम करने मांगी था वने त्यां पनी इस तरह थोड़ा गैप शुरू चल है ना त्यो कहने ले यो गैप लाइट सारे अननेचुरल नो मानो है ना पर क्यों वने ये कुरा बिग्री न थाले पची सारे छिटो बिग्री नहीं बनी उनसा ये कुरा सप्री न थाले पची सारे छिटो सप्री न बन सकता which is alarming, but not disturbing. Oh, you gap ko kura ma just the ab jo namro Nepali politics ko upheavals aru payo, social upheavals aru, economic upheavals aru payo. Ab yada continuum ma rakhe ra yada kiri. I think ab 1990s people talk about a general wave, you know that happened. Ab more recently yada kiri say the reformulation of that political aspiration or development aspiration, say, with the constitution. Or give federalism court discourse, ma'am. It's our pillar. It's our pillar. It's our pillar. Federalism, secularism, republican. It's our pillar. It's our whole ideas. It's a certain aspiration, say, 15 ma'am, politically, but it's formulated. It's our pillar. 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 So the blood, sweat and tears that went into that formulation of that constitution is all dwindling. So federalism, I mean, I've researched it, I've seen it in the headwinds. In the paper, it's like a Bugatti, Veron, Tobago, sleek federalism, everything's working on constitution paper, it's really nice. But go to uncover it, it's not bold, it's not bold, it's not bold. Chinese government ले देखो M A sixty aircraft जस्ते बॉय से क्यों सलाह sometimes है that's my personal opinion that तो उड़ता बनी उड़ता ही ना गुड़ता बनी गुड़ता ही ना गुड़ना रखना बनी सारे मंगो बिगता बनी बिगता ही ना है ना so it's just costing money पर निकाल कोई अगर conversation पनी बॉय रखो तो है ना अब I don't know if there is anything more to be said on on where we are with federalism but I'm sure there are more things for this panel to kind of touch upon based on what we've kind of discussed. You know, you would have seen this whole idea of federalism, provincial structures, or role, legitimacy, I think there is a broad sense of agreement. Yes, 
policy attempts or Rubaku saw. I think in different um, provinces have come up with really strong legislation, but there is also an acceptance that they failed in implementation. And that's a classic response. But then nobody's questioning the logic of what actually happens, why, is, why are you really formulating policies and why it's not happening. Institutionally, we are finding that it is a political settlement and it continues to be a political settlement. We are finding that it is a political settlement. This is an interesting discussion I'm drawing from uh, the conversation between Shatish Arpita and uh, Amro uh, Ajay Jiko that they were talking about Nepal bone ki bone na bane khalko kura bhai ra thiyo. Ani tisko yoda offshoot uh, question chai Nepal kosko lagi bone kosko lagi bone na bane khalko chai mm -hmm. kura thiyo. Can we, can we examine this question Nepal kosko lagi bone ho kosko lagi bone na through federalism? Your views. <coughs> okay. Uh, federalism is a major thing that we have to do. We have to do federalism. We have to do it. 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 The Sarkar is just to access the Sarkar. The Sarkar is not 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 to uh, it's also a very good thing that you can do with the trust in Nepal. In Nepal, there is a lot of Sanskritic subjects. Sanskrit governing system. But what is the problem? The problem is that the government is not the government. The ती उत्पीड़ित समुदाय ले आप हुले अभ्यास करते हैं आई रहे को अधिकार में खुशी हो तो भूमि खुशी हो तो सांस्कृतिक सभ्यता खुशी हो तो पहचान खुशी हो बने पची तो हमरो मुक्ति से तेरे बेला मात्रे उनसा जब हमले बने तो राज्य सत्ता उनसा अथवा ती सांस्कृतिक उत्पीड़ित राष्ट्र ले खोजे को जस्तो सां I am a minister of the government. 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 I am a को आफ्नो भाषा छ आफ्नो संस्कृति छ आफ्नो टेरिटोरी छ र आफ्नो गभर्निङ गर्ने सिस्टम छ त्यति मात्रै होइन सोच्ने मनोविज्ञान पनि छ यो भनेको चाहिँ राष्ट्र हो भनेर बुझेको कि त्यसकारणले नेपाल चाहिँ यो बहुराष्ट्रिय राज्य हो भन्नुको कारण चाहिँ के हो भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ राष्ट्रहरुको संयोजित रूप राज्य हो अथवा बहुराष्ट्रिय राज्य हो भनेर मान्नु पर्छ भन्ने कुरा हो हैन त्यसैले बुझ्नु पर्छ त्यसो भएन भने चाहिँ के हुन्छ भने सबै उही त हो सबै नेपाली त हो भनेर भन्यो भने सबै नेपाली हो भन्नेको एस्पिरेसनलाई सम्बोधन हुन्छ कि हुँदैन भन्दा हुँदैन है ना कि पहाड़ में बसने में ऐसे को सांस्कृति सभ्यता और उसलिए करने पावर एक्सरसाइज को करा और थारू वाले अपनों सांस्कृतिक सभ्यता से गरीब रहे को अपनों ऑटोनोमस स्टेट को बेहतर फर्क बुरा हो इसका अंले सभी ये उटे हो बने बैखा गरीब सभी नेपाली तो उन बने बैखा गरीब बने यो न्याय संगत उन देना त प्रतिमान साको राज्य विस्तार पची इंप्रोवेशन होने पुगियो जबरदस्त तो खास बात समय ही बोलने पर ने बात ना तेरा गोयो जबरदस्त तो नेपाली क्यों बन्सा यो महेंद्र माला नहीं पढ़ने पर ने अवस्था पुगियो तेल ले सही तू राष्ट्र रुको आपनों अधिकार में थे इंप्रोवेश बायो तो इसका नले संगीता में खोजिए को दूसरे कुरान से कितने बंदा खेले चाहिए आपनों स्वयंतता सहित को राज्य राष्ट्र और उन्हें पर सवार तो खाली को प्रदेश और उन्हें पर सब जहाँ तो समुदाय ले आपनों मुक्ति पाऊँ सब बंदे कुरान संग संबंध है दूसरे कुरान से ही तीसरे कुरान से क्यों बंदा खेले जब हम ऐसे लेते स्वयं तथा को अभ्यास करने पाऊँ से तेज पची मात्रे आपने स्वतंत्र ढंगले सोचने पाऊँ से स्वतंत्र ढंगले व्यवहार करने पाऊँ से ना तो राज्य पे आपने वो बन्नी अनुभूति करने पाऊँ से 
त्यो परिवेशमा मात्रै बोल्न हामीले भनेको जस्तो राज्य पुनर्संरचना सार्थक हुन्छ तर अहिले भइदियो के भन्नुहुन्छ भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ राज्य पुनर्संरचना चाहिँ भयो त कसरी भयो भन्दाखेरि बिहान देखेको छलफल यसो सुन्दाखेरि चाहिँ पुनर्संरचना तपाईँ पो हुनुपर्ने हो त म कहाँ हुनुपर्ने हो त मैले बोलिराखेको भाषा सबैभन्दा मुख्य हुनुपर्यो मैले चलाइराखेको पार्टी सबैभन्दा मुख्य हुनुपर्यो मैले नेतृत्व गरे चाहिँ सबै कुरा मुख्य हुनुपर्यो म मुख्य के भन्छ मुख्य सचिव भएको चाहिँ मैले भने जस्तै कर्मचारी प्रशासन हुनुपर्यो भन्या चाहिँ आफू पुनर्संरचना हुन तयार नहुने र अरूलाई पुनर्संरचना भएको हेर्न चाहने समस्या नै अहिलेको सङ्घीयताको मुख्य समस्या हो भने जस्तो लाग्छ त्यो पार्टीहरू अहिले सङ्घीय भइसकेका छैनन् प्रहरी कुरा अहिलेसम्म सङ्घीय भइसकेको छैन न्यायालय हेर्ने हो भने यो हाइकोर्ट लगेर राखिने बाहेक त्यो पनि सङ्घीय भइसकेको छैन कि त्यो खालको जनताको समस्याहरूलाई सम्बोधन गर्ने उत्पीडित समुदायहरूको सम समस्यालाई सम्बोधन गर्ने हल हल गर्ने खालको सङ्घीयता चाहिँ हाम्रोमा व्यास हुन सकेन जबसम्म त्यहाँ पुग्दैन समा यो सङ्घीयतामाथिको प्रश्नहरू चाहिँ उठि नै रहन्छन् भन्ने लाग्छ कि त्यो दिशातिर जाने खालको अहिले पर्यावरण बनेको देखिन मुख्य गरी तत्कालीन माओवादी र मधेशवादी शक्तिहरू र आदिवासी जनजातिहरूले सबैभन्दा बढी सँगसँगै प्रगतिशील अरू समूहले सबैभन्दा बढी सङ्घीयताको माग गरेको र प्रश्न के उठ्दो रहेछ भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ बच्चा जन्माउने मात्रै ठुलो कुरा हो कि उसलाई आवश्यक सबै भरण पोषण जे जे कुरा हो एउटा 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 साँच्चैको समृद्ध बच्चा बनाउनको लागि चाहिँ काम गर्नुपर्ने हो भनेर हेर्दाखेरि चाहिँ संविधानमा सङ्घीयता लेखिदिने अनि यसो आफ्नो कार्यकर्ताहरू भत्रिक भर्ती गर्ने जस्तो सङ्घीय संरचना पनि बनाइदिने तर त्यसको श्रीवृद्धि गर्ने कुरा त्यसलाई मजबुत बनाउने कुरा राजनीतिक प्रणाली कस्तो हुन्छ त्यसको अर्थतन्त्र कस्तो हुन्छ त्यहाँ भएका विविध सांस्कृतिक समुदायहरूको मनोविज्ञान के छ भन्नेमा कहिले पनि छलफल नगर्ने खालको परिस्थिति भएको हुनाले सङ्घीयतामाथि प्रश्न उठेको तर अघि पनि कुरा उठाएको थियो कि सङ्घीयता चाहिँदैन भन्नेको तर्क के हो त्यो पनि जान्नु पऱ्यो नि त हामीले कतिपय त्यस्तो मान्छेहरू पनि छन् जो सङ्घीयता चाहिँदैन भन्छन् किन पाँचवटा मुख्य तर्कहरू के हो भनेर त भन्नु पऱ्यो नि त त्यतिकै चाहिँदैन भनेर हुन्छ त तपाईँको विचारमा के हो होइन मलाई त चाहिँदैन म त एकदमै सङ्घीयताको पक्षधर हो म सङ्घीयता सोधिहाल्नु पर्छ कहिले कहीँ सगर अघिकै क्वेसन होइन त्यो फ्लिप आर्ग्युमेन्ट अन नेपाल कति बन्यो कति बनेनमा नेपाल कसको लागि बन्यो अहिले सङ्घीयताको जर्नी लास्ट हाम्रो दुई साइकलमा हेर्दाखेरि नेपाल चाहिँ कसको लागि बन्यो कसको लागि बनेन अर सङ्घीयताले कसलाई फाइदा भयो कसलाई फाइदा भएन तपाईँको विचारमा होइन अर योर टेक अन न न आई गेट इट उहाँको भन्दा खासै फरक पनि छैन सनलाई तर अलिकति इलाबोरेसन अलिकति म इकोनमिक एन्डबाट गर्न चाहन्छु होइन समाजमा सिचुएटेड इनइक्वालिटिजहरू हुन्छन् हरेक समाजमा हुन्छ त्यसमा केही छैन तर केही पोलिटिकल सिस्टम्सहरू केही केही देशका राज्यका पोलिटिकल पोलिटिक्स भनौँ न द वे पोलिटिक्स इज कन्डक्टेड इन पर्टिकुलर कन्ट्री sometimes ends up reinforcing those inequalities and sometimes eroding those inequalities so to that an extent uh, nepal ko samvidhan le nepali har ko buddhi le bhyae samma yo rajnaitik uh, marginalization lai chai control garnu paryo ela at least niyantrit banaunu paryo teska kei matlab elements haru chan tinar lai incorporate garnu paryo bhanne hisab le जे जति गरेको छ होइन त्यसले चाहिँ केही हदसम्म संविधानको युटिलिटी कहाँ छ भन्दाखेरि केही हदसम्म रेप्रेजेन्टेसन बढाएको छ अब पोजिटिभ डिस्क्रिमिनेसन्सहरू सुरु गरेको छ केही हदसम्म इन्क्लुजन बढाएको छ होइन त्यस कारणले त्यो स्ट्रक्चरले केही न केही एङ्गल दिएको छ त्यसमा होइन तर त्यो सबै सिचुएटेड इनइक्वालिटिजहरू आजैका मितिमा एकै एकै हिसाबले मतलब अल इक्वली एन्ड इमिडिएटली यू विल बिगिन टू सी आउटकम्स भन्ने चाहिँ हुँदैन होइन जस्तो म चाइनाको उदाहरण दिन्छु देङ जियापिङले रिफर्म ल्याउँदाखेरि चाइन चाइनामा एउटा कम्युनिस्ट आइडियोलोजीको एकदमै एन्टिथेटिकल स्लोगन दिएर ल्याउनु भएको थियो यो स्लोगन के थियो भने लेट सम पिपल गेट रिच फर्स्ट होइन सो वट द्याट वाज दि आइडिया विथ विच सेम्बलेन्स अफ क्यापिटलिजम वाज इनिसिएटेड इन चाइना वट द्याट एन्डेड अप डुइङ इन थर्टी इयर्स इज एलिभेटेड एट हन्ड्रेड मिलियन पिपल आउट अफ पवर्टी होइन त्यो डेमोक्रेटिक रिफाइनमेन्टबाट आएको होइन त्यो इकोनमिक एक्टिभिटिजबाट आएको होइन अब यहाँ प्रब्लम के हो भने वी ट्राइड 
everything and almost from an aspirational level, you know, to, to try to fix our politics, but we've done nearly nothing to fix our economy you know, or our economic outcomes. And so that has been the issue. You have a lot of frustrated young people because they don't have avenues to either find a livelihood or to find an expression of their, of their um, 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 capability. Right? What is the expression of their capabilities? Where does it fit in the economy? Right? So that, that makes it more frustrating. But to think that as a community man, no was a samvidhan lehego. As a community man, sabey la kam garna thalnu parsa banne man se mochay na. Kino mane to logbog asambab sa. Je China ma boy, to almost impossible kura boy go. Historically, yeh ne wani, you know. So I I think there is still scope to fix things, but the focus has to now shift to the economy. And to agi orda mongo boy banne, ali lamy chal chal boy go to. This is a mic drop moment. Mongo, I go to my. You met the Buste Garno Pernivas, a key of any. Some Midan Savama tosses on a man city. Timot de Cosselipani, Nepalco administrative system is too inefficient. So, he is like efficiency leon like Songeta Leon Porto Bonner Bonin. That was never the justification. We all knew that expansion of the government will add cost. But how much cost has, has it actually added is nothing, right? It's around 9% on the recurrent expenditure. The recurrent expenditure of this country used to be historically around in the mid-50s. And then it went up to um, uh, around 60% when we expanded the social security safety nets, right? Because today the country spends 20% of its recurrent expenditure on social security payments. And that has grown faster than any other line item in the budget. So when you see today that the recurrent expenditures are hovering around 70%, it is because of expansion of social security investments, which is never a bad thing, right? How much has actually provincial government, how much have provincial governments drawn on it is on an annual basis, we allocate around nine point something percent on recurrent expenditure, expenditure to provinces. We don't even spend all of that. We end up spending around 6% of that. Oh, this is 6% budget. And I will take you back to the constitutional debates. At that instance, what was the primary concern? The primary concern is we need a durable political settlement coming out of a conflict. It was never about rendering our, you know, as such highly inefficient um, bureaucracy, more efficiency. That was never the plan. And now that people are trying to undercut this idea politically, they are finding different kinds of excuses. If you, the moment you look at numbers, it looks stupid. I think uh, there's this last um, bit of idea that needs to be explored within this political paradox. Um, and this is this whole idea of Secularism being challenged. It would have been really nice to hear that debate today, but unfortunately, uh, we couldn't. We'll hear that debate, but maybe we can start by teasing that idea a bit. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I think that we, we need more open forums to discuss this more openly, right? Agi stage ma ya suru ma question pani aatyo. Question ei gorne na hone idea ho ki yo, ai na? Agi ya pani actually isa ya amro four pillar ho. You take what I'm Kuragor and Halemini Potkins or Stupurapani, Ogigo Yo, and Nagarico Panel, Maliko Tacotio, you know? Tora Eli, Eli, you go off Gornu Pernice Kurabagosa. Jibi, I want to hear your thoughts on, on this Secular. very quickly. Okay. Um, Amrama, you uh, secularism like Bune, the May, the Re, uh, meets her about a Suruba, I was still acting on it. Secularism ko concept kyo bande ma tere chalphal nagari kana kosko dharma wa kosko dharma hoi na kosko dharma ho wa kosko dharma hoi na mero dharma ho wa aruko dharma ho bande tere gayo yub debate testo ho jasta malai lag dhe na maile bujeko secularism cha kyo bande ki kunai pani desh ma bibinna dharmik samudaya ko basura suna saksa nepal ma dheri dharmik samudaya ra chan ra pratek dharma le iti sankhya ko kura hoi na hai kosko kati sa bande kura it's different thing hai na जुन सुकै धर्म भए पनि जति नै संख्या भए पनि सबै धर्म मान्ने मान्छेहरुले 
स्वतंत्र पूर्वक आपने धर्म मानने पाने पर था। सेक्युलर होने के लिए एथिस्ट होने धर्म न मानने में चले पिंड धर्म तो देश में बसने पाने पर इंता वही ना इसको आर्थर सही क्यों बंदा कि रे सभी राज्यों का आपने निशित धर्म होता ही ना तर नेपाल में बैसे छह कि राज्यों का आपने निशित धर्म होता ही ना वह राज्य ले कुने निशित धर्म लाय मात्रे फेवर करने होते हैं ना कि सभी धार्मिक समुदाय रूप बराबर होने रहो उन्हें को उन्हें लाय अपनो धर्म मानने स्वतंत्रता होना न सभी लाय अपनो धर्म धर्म स्वतंत्रता पूर्वक मानना पाओ न पड़ता भन्ने अधिकार दा यो कि इसे को लेकर संघ जोड़ी को कराओ न कि यो कुने धर्म यो संविधानिक साले येर ने वने संविधानिक साले गारंटी करी को करा हो लाख कसेरे लाख लाख की इंटरनेशनल इंस्ट्रूमेंट को करा गौरसु बने तो वने दिए के करा हो बने पर जी व्यक्ति को चॉइस को करा हो मकुन दार में मैन नहीं बनना बनने बनने करा तो लाख तिस्ती कुने ये वाला निश्चित दार में को विरुद्ध दार को दार मतलब आम्रो धर्म में देश इन्हों पर सब बने सुकुरा उनसा मतलब जैसे तो लाग देना कि कुने निश्चित धर्म ले देश चलाऊं देना कि देश चलाऊं नहीं कुरा धर्म से पॉलिटिकल आइडिया हुई ना धर्म से पॉलिटिकल संगठन पनी हुई ना बने पर इतने साल ने तो पॉलिटिकल ही होला नहीं तो साले युटा धर्म को विरुद्ध डिबेट कर रहा हूँ अली को तो इसमें चीनो फैनो करने पड़ते हैं ना तो रहा यूनिट भी मोड़ दिया गया है ओके ओ यू वांट यू वांट नो 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 दिस इज़ वन ऑफ़ माय फेवरेट टॉपिक्स यहाँ आए रखिए उनसे बने नाउ यू हैव टू बिगिन टू डिस्टिंग्विश व्हाट इज़ पॉलिटिक्स एंड व्हाट इज़ डेमोक्रेसी explanation of what politics is, is that it is a pursuit of power and why you need power is to impose your will on others. But the, democracy, the idea of democracy cannot be evaluated by the same lens. The way to evaluate democracy is what you do, with, what the, the system can do to protect the, the smallest minority in the country. That is the evaluation, yeah. right? So in a country where we have majority Hindus, what are Hindus afraid of? With 80% number, why, why, are, why should anybody right, be afraid of the term secularism? What's wrong with that? And then, why do you know that the government is not going to be able to do it? The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. The government is not going to be able to do it. तेज पची हिंदू समाज में ये वाला पर्टिकुलरिटी चाहते हैं इसको युद्ध है ना त्यो पर्टिकुलरिटी क्या हो बंदे कि हिंदू समाज में उन्हें डिस्क्रिमिनेशन लाये रिलिजन ले रिइन्फोर्स करते हैं तेज कारण ले रिलिजन न त्याग न त्यागी को ना डिस्क्रिमिनेशन त्याग ना गारोत है ना तेज कारण ले पनी if you think about what India has achieved by being secular, is when the British left India, they could give it to you in writing that India will be splintered into pieces and fail as a country within 10 years. The reason why we see the diversity, the coexistence of Indians, you know, 30 different or 29 different states, and immense degree of work on, on, on anti-discrimination is because the constitution was secular. Had it not been that, it would have become Pakistan. Hmm. And is that where we want to be? So whether Modi wants us to be Hindu Rajya or not is Modi's business. We don't want that. मुस्लिम और रूमाई थी बॉय को दमन र मुस्लिम और ले आपने खाल को धार्मिक स्वतंत्रता को उपयोग करने परिस्थिति ठीक ढंग ले ना बने पची हमें ले छुट्टे राज्य साइंस है बने तो आसमान पूरी को देखने चाहिए ना 
This is Pakistan, but Bangladesh is born in Krama Air. When they hit Bangali, you really have to take basic or bass, basako, or bass gun upon a person, this number sweat down for seven. No, the Kakaran Lebar could be bad than the Hinsa. When you say, you say, Jabba Dormako Razmitun, sir, till Raji Bonaudin is the laxer. Till it's somebody be destroyed or Nitilla Jansa. This kind of Amramata, when you like one, it is too dear, Darmic given, sir, conflict don't of the China. It's so much similar to Bosco Sata. Exana, Mirkura Gonzo, any more. Eid Monona, Birgans Pinigakosu, only Maggie Monona, Rotor, get a birthday up in Gakosu. This was Mudor, I said. When I mean it, stood full of conflicts, China, Trajaba, Dharma, Rajniti Guru Plinza, Baratma, Tibo, Grafo, Titu, Dharma, say Rajniti, Bonapu, and this is so even that Kori Katanaka, the Laksa. Only our Nepal map only dangers, the Laksa, the necessity for a healthy debate is to debate, let's say. Uh, public forums, Ramra outlet pounce, people who want to defend themselves, I think, can defend themselves in public forums. It's a completely different space than Vitra Vitra, Guskuse, Torika, let's say, they idealize it for the Gurney. I think, broadly, your political paradoxes, ma'am, let's say, recover Gurse. If there is anybody in the audience that thinks we've missed something and then wants to add a few bright ideas on political paradoxes, um, happy to take in uh, before we move forward, right? And please keep it short. If it's more than two minutes, please send in your research papers. So, also do one minute. One minute. When the research paper is put, I didn't want to go. I'm a part more reflection, like comments. One that when reflections, your own reflections on uh, on, on <laughs> politics. Yo. Political paradox could have only. Now, you a question, so no question. There is a youth or about answer at this villa. Moban youth, or Moilet Rahino, Moban other youth or Rahino. The negative calco You the Niti Foundation Lord Ramro study Garatsa, Nepal Matsori Tantra Vanera. After a month, more prime minister, but Cossi Afno Afno Mansi Rute Afn to Town Mats and Sitting Rarachni. Or than Nadis, Nadis or Cossi Mel Particular de Jani, political appointment Melcosi Gorni, and an Arab Mafro Mansi Cossi Rachni in the clip to crazy ones. The clip to crazy Lizzie, you are a government full of Sarpara, it's a Maldekiko. To report any hard hero on it to Niti. Foundation like got a good story, say, to Jebasamas, or Sabi Ram Rukitapsa, this my Ernola. Or go Monalatsa using Amro Kashman University, my professor on the Bina Mr. Zimali, Lignavasa, Afno Mansi Vanera. You Afno Mansi Vana when it's a key known rich. Afno Mansi Bob when it's a Mola, you got the political system and got the democracy and got the person you live on the money due to Fox to turn. Democracy will like Lord a political party or Kino Testa. Kino clip to crazy much I won't tell you. I know. Afno Manzi Bob and Gazabsa. Afno Manzi Bob and Bessie of a get a Manzi Bills behind a Paragu Manzi, Exena Manzi, Tangel Mounds, or Cosim, get a Bills behind my Paragu Manzi, or Cosin Sudier, Mala of the Drowns. You do it a good as a politics, you do it a good as a sub in the Oscar Paras. Thank you. Uh, hello. Uh, you had an amazing discussion, eh? uh, uh, We're I still having a discussion, so two uh, minutes. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> uh, I think religion and politics mix by when they early excessive toxicity when it's when you grab wire, right? So I mean, say proactive boy. I just think early France man likes it when he's any. So like government, lene to only there any secularism like focus got as any recently early. Criticism so do you think so that like about you uh, no questions please yeah no questions so, just your thoughts yeah like uh, like it is a god that he proactively got that he is saying maybe one of sock like just a moment like I don't know like what are your thoughts so like part of the card the ending so much I want to argue I just wanted to say that thank you <clears throat> Thank you. Um, over the past two days, I'm like, like you're a common theme to subway panels or was youth engagement in politics, I know. Ani Kosele Boni, youth Ayo Bani, Matra K change on a soxa, Tarafari we say 
युवा राजनीति बट युवा राजनीति बुझने तरीका ठीक छाइन युवा पोलिटिक्स बड़ा डिस्कनेक्टेड युवा इज टू कंफर्टेबल तर फिर पोलिटिक्स बेटर करना हम युवा नहीं चाहिए भाई युवा कसले सोधे राजनीति के हो उसके कसरी बुझ्छ युवा पोलिटिकली इन्वल्व होना कति को मोटिवेटिंग इन्वाइरोमेंट बनाए हमें युवा को आइडियाज इंट्रेस्ट कसले बुझ् खोजे कसले वेलकम कर सो व्हाट इज ट्रू इज द युवासंग पोलिटिकल पार्टी न सीविल सोसाइटी ने इंटेन्सनली रिनिंगफुली इंगेज कर आई डोट नो हूज रिस्पोन्सिबिलिटी इट इज टू क्रिएट दिस कनेक्शन तर लेट्स नट टक अबाउट यूथ इंगेजमेंट एज अन अदर पैस पेसिमिस्टिक नारेटिव इन पोलिटिक्स अनि और जस्ट फर द सेक अफ टकिंग अबाउट यूथ इंगेजमेंट लेट्स एक्चुअली ट्राई टू मेक इट अ मोर मिनिंगफुल इंटेन्सनल थिंग इन दीज सर्कल्स थैंक यू हेलो थोड़े कोटा मन लगे सगर दाई को जेबीजी को अर्थ राजनीति को एटा अर्थतंत्र को राजनीति को राजनीति को इन्क्लूजन रटिशिपेशन नंबर में मत अटे मं को टाउ करने में अर्थतंत्र को कता कता हरा हरा जो लगता अब पैसा कह आंदा खेल पैसा आक माइग्रेसन मत अर कहीं बड़ा पैसा आक देखिदेन अ तथ्यांग भेटिदेन कि हम अर्थ राजनीति रिफ्लेक्शन करना को लगी हमी कस्तो एकदम फेटलिस्टिक खाल मोड में छर चाह जातिगत रूप में मं बाहर आने पाक हिजो को कुरा में को को फायदा ली रहता भादा खेल एकदम नजिक को मैं ली रहता अब यह थिंक टैंक लीड कर तर वहाँ तथ्यांग तो निन सकून है अलिअलि इन्साइट्स निकालने हो गवर्नमेंट को तथ्यांग तर अब यह अर्थ राजनीति को तथ्यांग को लियादिने हम क्यों जो जमीन को कुरा हम लैंड अडिट भैर खाई है जो हम यदि हमें एनडीएचएस गये अथवा लिविंग स्टैंडर्ड सर्वे ग्यौं मधेशी दलित छुट्टाने अथवा विभिन्न ग्रुप जो हम था उत्पीड़न में पड़े तेज को अर्थ राजनीति पर्स्पेक्टिव खो हम है अब यह थिंग थिंक टैंक एकदम सीरियसली सोच सोच् पर्ने कुछ यह काम अब हमें यूनिवर्सिटी दिने हो कि है क्योंकि थिंक टैंक को न क्यों डेटा तथ्यांग निलो लेजिटिमेसी पाने है यूनिवर्सिटी को काम हमें ओवर पावर कर खोजे जो लगता कहीं इसो सोच्दा खेल है सो यह तथ्यांग बिना को डिबेट कर हमी चाहे आर वी नट गोइंग इन टू सर्कल्स एंड सर्कल्स सो यह अर्थ राजनीति तथ्यांग चाहिए हो कि हमला भाई जो लगे कि No, I just wanted to add like half a cent on what Sagar said earlier on the debate about how expensive federalism is. Uh, you mentioned efficiency was never the goal, but my point is you can still make efficiency a goal, and it should it should it should legitimately be an efficiency goal also, because the idea of federalism was that as you devolve functions like health and education to local levels. then uh, federal spending would go down should go down that is the idea of the fiscal structure but that hasn't translated uh, the government would say that oh we have devolved in education and health see our federal direct spending has decreased but it hasn't actually if you count conditional grants then it's still direct federal spending treating local <coughs> governments as spending units so that hasn't happened on the other hand if you only look at direct expenditures the direct expenditures have hovered around the same level around 18% of gdp from 2019 to 2020 so direct federal spending has not decreased and unless it decreases uh, you can't make an efficiency argument but you should be making that moving forward no i didn't know if i if it was time to open that chapter but the the essential reason why the there has been escalating recurrent expenditures is because all three tiers of government have duplicative functions <clears throat> right i mean you those who work on 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 federalism know this abundantly that even the ministry of drinking water here sends 1000 rupees ko grant all the way to the gaon 1000 rupees right so at this level of of duplicity <laughs> not not duplicity but uh, duplicated 
you know, uh, expenditure, I don't think we can achieve efficiency, right? And then, <laughs> at the same time, you know, uh, there are a number of issues as to why we don't have civil service commission, why there is, and so on and so forth, right, at the provincial level. So we're really, I mean, people who work in this area know what is happening. But the problem with, with very limited people actually knowing the facts and a whole lot of people revolving around what comes out on TikTok is that, you know, you get Durga Prasai and others. I'm also Prasai, but <laughs> 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 others just manufacturing their own narratives, right? So. All right, I, I think, Kisa, um, one or two. <laughs> Arthur Kuraga, I say, you say, Taka, Yay, Milsamil and Hassan, another bit of Kurazima, Yar, Salfon Lai was one is happily, Sierra Gordon Kodego. You would say, Hamile, Orthotantra, Ku, Nepal Kulagi, Kostu, Halko, Orthotantra, Zoruri, who, one Navy Secret, say, then think debate Bakumos in Dina. Is Sarkarku, Kendra Sarkarle Dini, or really receive Gornera, Salani Matriuki, where Nepal Ku, federalism, co economic system for a consul, Niti for a consul, one Navy Boss Vasena, Jabasama, Missanga. Nepal को यो फेडरलिज्म लाई साच्ची के रामरो वही में प्रेजेंट करना सकने रामरो तरीके वाले फंक्शन करना सकने खाल को इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम र इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी के अनुसार बनने विषय में छाल फुल करने पर सवाल है तेल मात्रे उड़न पूरे अवसर मैं बोलने टाइम दिन सोए तो जेबी लाइन टाइम लिस्ट बोलने टाइम uh, your political paradoxes, and thank you, audience. Uh, I think you guys did a great job adding to it. You know? Let's now slightly move the conversation to uh, the economic side of it. Thanks. Uh, your economic side, my paradoxes are. Yeah, but multiverse. I know. But I think there are a couple of things that uh, really stand out, and we should um, uh, explore this further. Our economic side, my say. Nothing best captures for me. Eh? It might not be the same for you. The paradox explained in Nepal go LDC graduation ko storyline. I know. Ab uh, developing country na lago. Uh, Tara income ko level meet bago chahi na. Oru conditions le chahi. I mean ripe hai ra hone bago. Ani sansar le chahi. Eh, timi ab paisa ke hoy. Ready. You are ready to transition. Vanda ni. I mean, desh chahi. Eh, parka nu parka. Oily na garni. Oily na garni. I know we, don't, we still want to be a developing country. We don't want to transition. We defer twice. I know. For valid reasons, I, I, there have been enough explanations um, and, uh, why we kind of made that deferral on our side um, because it was not to our interest. But also shows the limitation on our part. I know. I mean, economically ready, or I mean, foundations, or I mean, that is why we kind of had to differ. Only, is a, I'm a Bangladesh co participant. Yeah, I don't know if Tofik is still here around. I don't see him. But Bangladesh is also graduating. And when you talk to Tofik about it, you kind of sense that excitement on his part. I know you talk to him, it was like Bangladesh is ready. You know, yesterday in one of the round tables, he said, Give Bangladesh is any idea, it will spread across Bangladesh. One day, and you 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 see this, you you you. It's almost palpable that excitement on his part that we are graduating. We've done stuff. Yes, we recognize we recognize challenges. Uh, I'm like Garo sir. I'm ro tariff or change on sir. I'm ro export markets or change on sir. But we are ready. Panne khau ko sir excitement dehi on sir. I'm ro man sir. Ora koi leo. <laughs> Next year, I know. So there is still a confusion whether we are graduating, what we are graduating for. I know. About early, early, to, to, that excitement is not there. I know we are not feeling it. That best describes the paradox. I know. But one thing that I think what we have extensively discussed, and I'll draw from this uh, session on the rhetoric and reality of of migration. Uh, first, within the panel, ma'am, they did. They go for it. You would say, I'm going to claim kids are one. I agree. Law demographic dividends. I know Nepal go population go trend is showing that there's going to be demographic dividends. That's why we're saying youth line, future generation that are going to be at the forefront of the economy. Unarla involved gara. Unaruko perspectives leo. They will be the ones contributing to the economy. You would have to open this up. Argo tiro say. About the reality that we see, 
I think the session rightly concluded that that was a development choice that we made, that, uh, and it is a valid choice that we are sending people outside. Right? About migration, remittance, ko circle, ma rhetoric, or reality, or there is a. So I want to begin with you first here. You only got the your your demographic dividend, migration, remittance. You could consumer like only got the topic side would unpack or not. Okay, a little bit time you in them. Three times is China. There is China. Four minutes. Five minutes. यो बांग्लादेश से ही काठमांडू यूनिवर्सिटी को ग्रेजुएट आई मीन्स ये त्रिवन यूनिवर्सिटी को ग्रेजुएट ये वाली फरक किस्म को ग्रेजुएशन हो तो किन बंचों बने हमरे खासे एक्सपोर्ट्स हैं ना मैन्युफैक्चरिंग बेस्ड हैं ना अन्य इले खासे मटेरियल डिफरेंस पर लाऊं दे ना आई ना and जोन borrowing को cost हो तेज़ में बनी तेज़ तो excessive borrowing बनी था ही ना तेज़ में थी बनी तो borrowing को cost में बनी different modalities of concession थन तेज़ कारण ले कोई बनी आतिया को बन था ही ना अब तेज़ कारण let's take it slow बनने था तो demographic dividend था मिले पाउंड था ली सकियो था demographic dividend has corresponds with the structure of your economy ours is a consumption economy and because of demographic, demographic dividend, we consume $15 billion of import. And Nepal has one of the highest uh, um, revenue as a percentage of uh, GDP, as a uh, proportion of G GDP um, in South Asia at around 20, 22%, right? We tax our imports, and that's how we run the country. But we have to flip it now. Right? The flipping side is we have to be more productive. Right? So our, either our services have has to grow faster, our agriculture has to modernize faster, or we have to have some kind of a manufacturing base. Then we will get the demographic dividend from in the real sense. But some degree of demographic dividend is what you see. All you are talking about, 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 अब माइग्रेशन में जैसे दूसरा वाला एकदम हाईली एंट्रेंस्ड मिस हो रहा है जैसे मैं क्वेश्चन करना चाहूँ तो मैं ना अली का दी आई हैव सम डिग्री ऑफ लेजिटिमेसी टू डू दिस आई स्टिल हैव अ बुक व्हिच नॉट वेरी मेनी पीपल बाय बट इट्स अवेलेबल इन अमेज़न.कॉम एट 68 डॉलर्स ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट बट First of all, you have to look at the remittance package to, to continue to harp on this, this particular rhetoric that uh, migrant uh, remittances aren't going in, a product, in the productive sector. The average package is around, right now, monthly package, remittance package right now is around 25,000 to 30,000. Let's say 20, 27,000 around there, which is also, you know, entry-level salary of Nepal government's, you know, uh, non-gazetted positions, right? Which is your uh, traffic police, uh, army co soldier, drivers in the, in the, in the uh, government, and so on and so forth. So, when you say that you have a traffic police, you have to say, you have to pay for the productive sector, you have to pay for the productive sector, you have to so, why do you think about the migrants? They have 25,000 income. They have to pay for the productive sector. Their children are better nutrited today than 20 years ago. Their children are getting better education today than 20 years ago. Right? That is a productive sector. If you talk about demographic dividend on one hand, and masses of uneducated people on the other hand, and ask the migrant to then go and then say, Put it in product, say, what about the UK? That is absurd. <laughs> Stop this. Okay, number two. There is a lot of uh, grief 
around migration in this country for some reason. It is an emotional issue because, you know, when you have upwards of three million people, you know, away from their homes, away from their families, away from their, you know, uh, communities, it affects people. But it doesn't affect economically. It, it traumatizes people from a different angle. And then there are failed migrations, bad treatment, discrimination, and so on and so forth. Those are real issues, right? There is no point making a lot of fuss around, oh, migration ma gai, migration ma gai. Have you, again, Lalitpur, Thapathaliyam Basse ko traffic police lai gai ra, Tonkin Kathmandu ako, gang ma jai, reintegrate gai, aapne community ma kaam gai, bannu uncha? Migrant lai kina bannu uncha? Why na? Third thing is, migration, I mean, le dekhta migration, they have departed, therefore we call them migrants. But they are workers. Workers have a career. And they pursue their career, just like you do. There's no reason to vilify that. Absolutely no reason. Because if you look at the trajectory of migration, a migration usually gets a rough and short, um, a migrant usually gets a rough and shoddy deal in the first cycle, right? Might be working in the wrong company, badly paid, whatever was promised is not given, and so on and so forth. By the second cycle comes, this is where he becomes a career migrant, right, or a career worker. Then his packages come around 40, 45,000 and so on and so forth. By third cycle, they're in the 60s, 70s, 80,000 uh, uh, remittance package bracket. It's a career. Where is the trauma? The trauma is in the empty homes. When the, the mother's like solo parenting load, and she's a woman in Nepali society where there's deep patriarchy, and she suffers from different value clashes with her in-laws and so on and so forth. That's the tragedy. Stop talking about the, uh, why aren't migrants putting on productive sectors? Why aren't they reintegrating? They will not. Try as you hard. Yeah, I think uh, global, uh, sometimes we undermine the fact that we are in a globally connected economy. Wage differentials, some are global economy. Man. Absolutely. People will always find to move. We've always And moved. then we also talked yeah. about, you know, our own pr cultural propensities to mi migrate. migrate, right? So First World War was the first time when, um, you know, uh, um, Nepalese in droves went out to serve in different armies, and I'm deputed by Nepali government, of course, not like the Ru Russia-Ukraine war. And then that was the first time people actually saw colors in their village. They saw new clothing, they saw new, you know, thing. And so that is the enticement. Today, if you go ask migrants, you know, they want to widen their world. They want to see the world too. It's not only because they are under deep debt and trauma and dying and therefore leaving the country. They are 18-year-olds, 19, 20-year-olds who have aspirations. They want to sit on a plane and fly. They want to see Qatar, right? And what alternative do we have? Five. 500,000 people sit in for SLC examination, half of them fail. Should they just keep giving SLC examination <laughs> till the end of their lives? Please. Yeah. I think we've had a, uh, thanks, Sagar, this is a really good point, and we've had a really good session yesterday, and if you've missed that, I would really urge you go and watch the YouTube video. It's up online. Uh, I think it demystifies uh, a lot of things. I want to come back to you, JB, yeah. on, on the economy. Okay. Uh, Sagar had made this point that unless we kind of change the structure of the economy, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll, I'll draw to that preamble of, of why federalism. So one of the formulations for federalism is to build an inclusive economy. Exactly. exactly. So, I mean, the challenge is, how do you build an inclusive economy? The practice of our economy, what is happening, is such that there is import reliance, I mean, we have a consumptive economy, we have a lot of trade, we have a lot of trade, we have a lot of economic base structure, I mean, how do we change? What is your thought on how we start changing the structure of the economy so that what we do starts becoming more inclusive and, and broad-based in, in uh, that impact of the economy. economy is not directly the economy. economy is not 
फलाम को काम करने में अच्छी ली वर्ष बहुत ही काम कर सा गर्थियो रा वर्ष में एक दिन गया रहा थोड़े अन्नली अन्नली रहा हूँ क्यों यदि त्यो व्यक्ति ले फलाम को काम करे बाप और काम करने बीती के उसले श्रम को मूल्य पाऊँ थी बने पांच के जी फलाम उन्हें मान चले दस वर्ष पची एक टॉन को माली कुंतियो बने को कि हमरो इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम कती जाति बादी था बने को रापनी पहला हिस्टोरिकली एरनु पड़ती है एरी को साइन उस लाख से एक दूसरे को रहता है ये इकोनॉमिक एफिशिएंसी को करा कर दाखिल इस तो यार दिन बासी सिंध था से ना मलाई तो मलाई क्या लाख से बंदा खिरी जब महिला आदु को आत्मा इकोनॉमिक इकोनॉमी होन्चा तो इकोनॉमी एक ढंगले तो इसको मोबिलिटी बनी फर्क ढंगले होन्चा उस लाख से मलाई लाख से कि प्रत्येक हाउसहोल्ड में ये और � it's totally casteist that the people who live in the world have to go to the place of the country. The people who live in the world have to go to the place of the country. The people who live in the world have to go to the temple of the temple and go to the temple of the temple. This is a caste-based economy. This is the economy of the country. I think that the economy of the country is the economy of the Nepal. The economy of the country is the caste perspective of the Nepal. तो चार साल नगर नहीं हो बंद कि हिस्टोरिकल इंजास्टिस को यो रेटिक हमें पुक देना कि ऐतिहासिक यो अत्याचार ऐतिहासिक दौरान को कुरात चार साल नगर दाखिल समा ऐले हमें इक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन को रायगढ़ पुक देना तो इसका अंले मैं दी टक कुरात बनो कि तराई में हरवाच और ऐले पनी सन रब सुधर पश्चिमी � तो मैंने से जीवन भर यो यो एलजीडी ग्रेजुएट की क्या ही उनसे वर्ष क्या मतलब है ना भाई ना तब तो मैंने से लेते मैंने से जीवन में परिवर्तन नहीं होता है ना तो ग्रेजुएट होने से मलाज से खास मतलब सही नहीं भाई भी नहीं होता मलाज से खास मतलब सही नहीं क्यों ना बंदा तो उस रामगरी खाने मैंने से क अब अगले जगह के लिए गौर जगह महिला का नाम दौरता गौरी बंद की पौष्टिक परसेंट के लिए तो टैक्स है सही कम होने रहे बनने सही ना अलग लिप बढ़ाया अपनी रिसर्च करीब 20 परसेंट आराम से महिला आर को नाम है गौर जगह को दौरता अपनी शुरू करा सा नाम मत आयो तब बेचे पुष्टि संपत्ति में कब जाकर सुन सा कि महिला ने तो इकोनॉमिक रिसोर्स को मोबिलिटी करना पाया कुछ था सही ना वने पुष्टि अगले तब तो इस तो खाल को पेट्रोयार्की कि महिला को इकोनॉमिक मोबिलिटी ना हो देखना कुछ सिर्फ ही उनसा ये ये पॉइंट बात अपने इकोनॉमिक्स में तेरे देर थोड़ा बात लाग देने कि ये हिस्टोरिकल इंडस्ट्रीज का पैटर्न लाये मिले नॉएड देखिए समय नेपाल को इकोनॉमिक ठीक ढंग से बेखाने हो देना मनीषा एक ये मुझे रखतुंगिया है ना दूसरे पूर्व तीन एक ठाम पुक्षा बनी गुराई गौर दाखिरी मात्रा ही अंधे कुंज हाँ नत्रा बने क्यों बने बने यो ये वाला राज्य का आरक्षण सही तो मेरे सुनने वाला यो हॉलीया को पुनस्थापना बने कार्यक्रम सही का क्यों गौर दरोसा बन्दा खेरी सही उसको पुष्टांव पुष्टांव देखी हॉलीया बोशी राज हाँ उसको अपना नाम ये वा� अरे राज्य ले चाहो लिया पुरुष पुनः स्थापना का कार्यक्रम ले आओ दरस पुनः स्थापना किया बंद खेले पहले को ठामो लायर रहने बने हो क्यों ना भगवान से क्या रोबस्त हो उसले सामान्य तो मुझे नहीं कहा कुकरा करने वाले क्यों दरस बने कि उसले निश्चित समय तो खेत बारी में काम करे पाप तो आदि जगह में उसको क्या बंद क्यों करा बोले और कुछ नहीं यो इकोनॉमी मोली मोबिलिटी के कुरा करता है ना मलाई सभी बंदा दे रहे मो के माइग्रेशन में एकदम ही पीड़ा बोए का मैंने सुना सब एक बस पुगे साल सोपन बायो इतनी ठुलो आइले देश को इकोनॉमी कॉलेज चलाई दिया सब बंदा खेर मलाई लाख सा कि सभी बंदा बड़ी देश में कंट्रीब्यूशन अमेरिका यूरोप जाने को देर ठुल चिंता माला चला गया ना कि मैंने सभी बंदा बड़ी चिंता को सुलाक सब ने तीन वर्षों मरे रखा डी में काम कर नेपाल फर्क इंसान नेपाल को 
मटोमा थप श्रम गरे आफ्नो परिवार त कम से कम जीविका चलाउँछ नि त्यो फर्किर आउँछ र श्रम गर्छ उसले कमाएको उसले त्यहाँबाट दुःख गरेर पाएको इकोनोमिक रिसोर्समा देश चल्छ धेरै ठुलो कन्ट्रिब्युसन छ तर त्यो कन्ट्रिब्युसनलाई कसरी हेर्यो भने त्यत्रो ठुलो कन्ट्रिब्युसन गरेको छ र त्यसैको स्रोत हामीमा पनि आइपुगेको छ कि फेरि किनभने राज्य त्यहीँबाट चलाएको छ राज्यबाट के के हामीले पाएको पनि होला हौ कि त्यो त हामीसँग पनि आइसकेको छ नि त त्यो सब अर्को ग्रासरुटमा हेर्ने हो भने साना साना व्यापार व्यवसाय चलेर नेपालको लोकल इकोनोमी चलेको छ सानो पसल चलाएर चिया पसल चलाएर होइन सानो सानो ह्यान्डिक्राफ्ट चलाएर इकोनोमी चलेको छ नि त्यो इकोनोमीमा त्यत्रो कन्ट्रिब्युसन गर्ने मान्छेहरूको हाम्रो चासो कहाँ हुन्छ त कहीँ पनि छैन क्या म त इकोनोमिक एनालिसिस यसो अलिअलि पढ्दाखेरि के लाग्छ भने सबैभन्दा स्थानीय तहको इकोनोमिक मोबिलिटी बनाउने मान्छेहरू त वहाँ उहाँहरू हो नि उहाँहरूको कुरा हाम्रोमा छैन खालि के कुरा केमा छ भन्दाखेरि चाहिँ कति जिडिपी भयो कति आयो कति गयो कति तिर्यौँ भन्ने कुरा छ जबसम्म त्यो लोकल इकोनोमिक मोबिलिटी गर्ने मान्छेहरूको इकोनोमीमा अलिकति बेरोमेन्ट हुने खालको परिस्थिति बन्दैन वा उहाँहरूले सस्ने गरेको उहाँहरूले कन्ट्रिब्युट गरेको कुरालाई हामी जब एक्नोलेज गर्न सक्दैनौँ भनेदेखि चाहिँ मैले अघि नै भने कि ग्र्याजुएट भए पनि नभए पनि श्रम गरी खाने मान्छेले केही फरक पर्दैन श्रमिकहरूको दुःख गरी खाने मान्छेको जीवनमा सुधार खान हुने खालको इकोनोमिक सिस्टम हुनुपर्छ तब मात्रै अरू कुरा चेन्ज हुन्छ भन्ने लाग्छ मलाई चाहिँ यसमा के लाग्छ हामी आफै पनि रिसर्च गर्दैछौँ होइन अब यो सोसाइटीमा फर्स्टको डिस्कसन र अहिलेको कनेक्ट गर्दाखेरि सोसाइटीमा पावर कसरी डिस्ट्रिब्युट भएको छ भन्नेमा चाहिँ हो होइन अनि त्यो डिस्ट्रिब्युसन अफ पावर चाहिँ कसरी चेन्ज हुन्छ भने एन्ड इकोनोमी Um, or wealth is one of the key indicators that distribute the power distribution change kasari huncha bhanne cha ho esma dherai vada global examples of how women empowerment hune and how society ma women ko position change hune or individuals har ko change hune bhanne ho so economic ko side ma pani jastai and this is a good example of how foreign migration or to labor force chai gaera exposure lera aera certain wealth lera aera chai अनि उनीहरूको पावर पोजिसन्स इन सोसाइटी स्टार्ट्स चेन्जिङ अ भेरी गुड इक्जाम्पल इज ह्यापनिङ इन माई ओन भिलेज होइन हामी हामी गाउँबाट चाहिँ छोडेको मेरो गाउँ रूपन्देही हो काठमाडौँमा बस्न थाल्यौँ अलिकता जग्गा थियो त्यो जग्गामा चाहिँ तपाईँको अधियामा चाहिँ कसैले खेती गर्थ्यो आई आधी आधी हुन्थ्यो सो इनपुट्स पनि आधी आउटपुट्स पनि आधी तर जग्गा चाहिँ हाम्रो नाममा थियो होइन अनि दुई वर्ष भयो त्यो जग्गा फ्यालो छ किनभने चाहिँ जसले चाहिँ अधियामा लिएर काम गरिराख्नु भएको थियो दे नो लङ्गर वन्ट टु टिल द ल्यान्ड इट इज नट इम्पोर्टेन्ट फर देम अनि त्यसले चाहिँ त्यो सोसाइटीमा तपाईँको पावर डाइनामिक्स चाहिँ चेन्ज गरेको छ कि बिकज नाउ जो जसले काम गरिराख्नु भएको थियो उहाँहरू जानुभयो ट्रेनिङ लिनुभयो अहिले आएर मेसिनेरी वर्क गरिराख्नु भएको छ दे ओपन द इलेक्ट्रिकल सप सम आई एव ओपन द डिपार्टमेन्ट स्टोर there are other sources of income and with that change of income to society ma power structure of how they were engaging with their former land tenants haru chai it's completely changed hai na ab tesko repercussions haru kati bhitra cha tha chaina but it's just a very small example that is happening in my own village in my own backyard hai na to asti dui cycle bhai sakyo telai chai maile observe gareko we been we don't know what to do hai na but that is a trend that is happening All right, um, I think economy man say oil like it is going to pack go wrong I know there are there are things that uh, I think we still need to discuss time set it is I know You know what I say my rock didn't so and maybe just quickly get your inputs um, You know you, you geopolitics goes I know so you're gonna know when I call you out a conversation on so I know Did I may round table for me go wrong I let us on Nepal between um, uh, China and India उही बेला पृथ्वी नारायण शाहले याम बिट्विन टू बोल्डर्स भनिदिएको अब त्यो त अब जियो पोलिटिक्स ह्याज अलवेज बिन सेन्ट्रल भनेको जस्तो भयो होइन हामी एन्ड द्याट सेन्ट्रलिटी इज सो सेन्ट्रल द्याट वी वी नेपाली थिङ्क द्याट वी आर एट द सेन्टर अफ द युनिभर्स होइन दिस इज द सेन्टर अफ द युनिभर्स भनेको जस्तो हुन्छ हामीलाई होइन द्याट वी प्ले सो मच स्ट्रेटेजिक इम्पोर्टेन्स हो हाम्रो यो हाम्रो यो लाइक सो मच थिङ्ग ह्यापनिङ अनि यसले चाहिँ धेरै खालको चाहिँ नारेटिवसहरू चाहिँ बजारमा चाहिँ आएको छ एन्ड दिस इज रिलेटेड बिकज यसको प्याराडक्सेसहरू चाहिँ किन भन्दाखेरि हाम्रो जुन नीति छ अफ हाउ वी वन्ट टु इन्गेज विथ द वर्ल्ड द्याट रिली डिटर्मिन्स हाम्रो भोलि फ्युचरमा चाहिँ बिकज 
we as a nation are not isolated. I'm like investment science, or I'm like trade science, or I'm like connectivity science, or I'm like partnership science. Or, uh, you should be geopolitics may engage nobody gonna say, would I know? But Ali, I mean, Rastabad go too low, Doko Bokera, any rats home. I know we think we are at the center of the universe, uh, non alignment, one era bossy rats home, any Amri neighbor or who say side match. Afni strategic autonomy, one other say, Ekatira song, a trade gurney, Akutira song, a trusso or a Bosni. How do we kind of uh, quickly grapple this idea of, of our geopolitical challenges? Nepal is not equidistant, Nepal is heavily India leaning, it is not non aligned. It is aligned in variety of ways. Yesterday we had a very good conversation where this this multi-nuclearity that you see today, as in you know U.S. you know gradually crumbling and other other powers coming up, um, and and it sort of poses a new challenge in geopolitics. But then uh, there were antithetical or 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 uh, very interesting uh, arguments that Nepal has always managed multipolarity, right? Because you know we only have two neighbors. Right, and we can't ever be that stupid to antagonize any of them so deeply that they become concerned enough to, you know, actually uh, strangle us. Um, and um, we've, uh, while that has been the case, but we've all, always hedged our bets in external relationships, right? Whether it's U.S. or Europe or Japan or Germany or whoever we've done, we've done that and done that fairly well. But off late this whole India-China rivalry has become a little tenuous. It's a very difficult situation. And uh, yesterday in that conversation, and I'm mostly su summarizing rather than putting my own, own ideas here, um, that uh, particularly there was an interesting perspective from India, or, or somebody from India, is that, you know, uh, we don't have an issue if you exercise options of variety of kinds, but, you know, just like you have security con concern, as in Nepal has security concern, India has sec security concerns too. And so China has security concerns too, right? Tibet is their red line, right? But when it comes to India, the red, the red line has become like a bunch of no red noodles. They <laughs> appear everywhere. And so that is what is concerning, like on hydropower, don't use Chinese contractors. On Bhairava Airport, oh, you use Chinese contractors, we won't give you fly-in permits. Um, you know, and, and this kind of... So, this doesn't quite work. Because, you know, uh, like on hydropower, the world knows that the Chinese are the most efficient, most cost-effective con hydropower consultants and contractors in the world. They've built the most number of gigawatts in the world on hydropower, right? And when every time they bid, they underbid and make sure everybody else, you know, loses the contract. And, you know, there's nothing wrong in that. We'll get cheaper electricity. But that kind of micromanagement, or, or not micromanagement, that kind of an expectation, just because India and China have that issue, is we have to navigate that. I, I think we have, to, we have to do a better job of explaining this to India. I don't think they understand fully what the implications are. Their security types are advising the embassy here, and they say, you know, whatever they understand, and that happens. And the other is the, 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 the loss of political connections, you know? Uh, we used to have a much better political connection in between the political classes of the two countries. These days, we don't. And so that is also an issue. Uh, but uh, I, we just have to make a better case. Yeah, on, on, the, on this, I think uh, my, my personal take is that it's not a given that if your neighbors are rich, you're going to be rich as well. Oh, yeah. Right? Uh, I think it is not a given. For a long time, that, that was really central to our own, own narrative around economy. Oh, China will grow, India will grow, and then Nepal will naturally grow. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> But <laughs> we have this discussion at the office, Nijin and me sometimes, uh, saying that if we were to put that into comparison, Lalitpur and Kathmandu, right? Uh, one China, one India, and the Bagmati Bridge being Nepal, mm -hmm. that aspiration to being that connect. 
who do you see at Bagmati Bridge? It's a lone beggar just asking for arms, right? So that whole mentality of that benefits are going to naturally flow into the countries with your neighbor's prosperity, I think is an assumption that is false. And then this whole idea of not being aligned is, is a purposive call uh, to revisit that paradox saying that we need to be more astute uh, and how do we further the noodle diplomacy on, on both ends. I'll stop with political, uh, geopolitical paradoxes there. Um, I don't think we have time. We have five minutes at max. Final thoughts on moving forward. Some things to both of you. One thing that is really important, and it might be a question, it might be a thought, it might be something you want to say to the audience that, that they need to carry and move away from today's discussion. What is that going to be? You say, I'm inclusion to Kuragi, I'm related to the Regorino. Jabasama party or Rasmitic Vivas and Pussy Budena. Tabasama, I'm Ru Gotibini, the Reborn of China. Corruption Kuravani, I believe, I will tell you that on the mattress and also more Janakur and the Kashman on the two, plain say you weather currently. I know. This was here a guy who is around with you, but I'm a Kikurabone. एकदमै भ्रष्ट भयो सिद्धियो खतमै भयो भन्ने भयो अनि प्रश्न बस कुरा कानी हुँदै हुँदै आउँदा खेरि के लाग्यो भन्दा खेरि चाहिँ जब एउटा फ्यामिलीको मान्छे वा रिलेटिभ्सहरु भन्सारमा काका छ प्रहरीमा मामा छ अख्तियारमा ससुरा छ अनि सबै ठाउँमा एउटा मात्रै समूहको वर्चस्व भयो भने त्यहाँ भ्रष्ट नभएर के हुन्छ एकदम इजी वे भयो के आफ्नै मान्छेहरुले सबै ठाउँमा बचाइदिने भो पार्टीको नेता पनि आफ्नै छ भनेपछि त यो हाम्रो State restructures are जब सम inclusive then this is the breaker of the line. The line is 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 the just a politics like your kid, the human, the Hiri say, Amile, say, Dandy, Rumas, you can't go to Kurase, Nepal, Raznik, Bibas, some anopatic, some abyss, Unuporsa. This quarter, you desmabon is so niti bonon at home, I'm Rupuni stake Unuporsa, I'm Avasbuni Suniporsa, I'm Milik Hotegusta, I'm respiration to some wooden bun Unuporsa, one new. This kind of lamb, you see Dantales, you can't go to my Nepal, my party living, you can't go to Gorna later. Some Midan request have living, you can't boil. Obiaski, whenever they are not seven, eh? Somanupatic, some abyssi coron could see Danta batter, so we wonder what if Haida costly is a producer of Pradinisavama, but never when it's a so we wonder the rape Haida say, Somanupatic, some abyssi company, Somanupatic Vala, Kota, but so we wonder what if Haida say, Cosare Levoisa. So we wonder the re nominate to Ne, Cosare Kesomosa. I know. Or the river, the Hiri, early Borho, Montri Porchet Bonio. Monte Parishat Costa Bonio and Ray, the Hikafis, Sardana de Timoila and Jam. And he or Sobi Sobi, you take a small command, sir, son. He will lay Raznitima, Kaka, play or even a pilot in Saint Ramblas and Tasa. And a Niti Bonani Kuramapani, you tell Somoko Dob the Baboidani, Karen Gorn Sobi Summers and Apani, you take Somoko Dob the Baboidani, this company Purusare, just a Shabi Gornevani, this act is present Cosadia Made. This is half percent. When you go, Pondra Prince, the Harari Purusaru, Subway Rajasataka, or by my Roy Rakhni, eighty five percent of the time, absolutely. I hear you put it on you. It's a summer estate mechanism saying, Subway Afno, one year on the wood garden, Udina, Niti Bonanukram Afno aspiration to some wooden Udina, Amra Saraka or some wooden garden to mechanism, Tabo Samasai, Yok Halko Rajas Summers and Avada, Dere Poribat Udina, Yota. Party or Summers and Apanero, Party or Summers and Apanic Costa Vodi, and I saw image imagine girls who get. Nepali Congress, half of the country, one party go. Pass Jana key leader or Rumade. Examiner Sierra Divinity of Larry Lamano. 
दुईजना महिला एकजना जनजाति और एकजना दलित चाहिए कांग्रेस भाई पार्टी को कि डिशीजन मेकिंग करने ठावे परिणाम के होते पार्टी को वा युद्ध कर माओवादी पार्टी को संरचना हेने वाले कि यो ठूल रूपांतरण करने राज्य को ट्रांसफर्मेशन करने आने पार्टी को पांचजना की पोजिशन में एकजना खसार एकजना दुईजना महिला एकजना जनजाति एकजना दलित हो एकजना मधेश मं हो तो पार्टी ने गति अर्क हो तर भैदू के भादा खेल चाहे अब सब पार्टी को हेद्दे तिनीसंग जन तीन को एजेंडा में जनता छन तीन को एजेंडा में स्वाथ मत स्वाथ बाहे के छाइन यदि स्वाथ होतेन थो गठबंधन हेर न कि गठबंधन करें सरकार बनाने के लिए भाई तो सब्सटेन्सिव कुछ होते हैं इसका लगी हमें सरकार गठबंधन बनाऊद भन्नी होगा तर तीन का लगी गृह मंत्रालय नई नो के अर अर मंत्रालय योग मंत्रालय नई नाने वाई आप स्वाथ कसरी पूरा कर सकता भाई बैंक के भी भैन ये पार्टी इस कारण पार्टी किनेर लियाने कुछ भी भैन विदेशी लगाकर कर दूँ भाई कुछ भी भैन तर मैं मेरा आग्रह के खाले पोलिटिकल सीस्टम को बारे में क्रिटिकली आलोचनात्मक टिप्पणी तब हमें कर ताकि अलिअलि भार्टी दबाव पुग्न सकोस् अलिअलि भिफर्म होने अवस्थ बन बंद जाओस् तेगरी यो राज्य संरचना में फिर एक छत्र बड़ रमाइल के रहता है मुख्य ब्यूरोक्रेसी कस को हाथ में हिस्टोरिकली हेरे कि हेद्दे एट समूह कब्जा ये कि उसे दायामा कर दीदेन रशासन को काम के होते कर्मचारी प्रशासन काम से रहे जनता को सरकार संबोधन करने होना जनता ने कई मुद्दा लगे कसरी डिरेल करने कसरी भत्काने भाई मात्र सोचद तस्त खाल ब्यूरोक्रेसी हम लोग धेरे समस्या हल होने तेस कारण राज्य पुनर्संरचना को मुख्य क्रक्स पोलिटिकल सीस्टम में रि रिफर्म ब्यूरोक्रेसी में रिफर्म पार्टी में रिफर्म होने कुछ तो दिशा तीर गए देखिए अलग ठूल ठूल खाल बिद्रोह जन्मिद जो लगता है थैंक यू वेरी क्विकली मे भाँचुदी हम सज में हिस्टोरिकल ट्रमा रेस को बैगेज धेरे प्रोग्रेस अत्यंत इंक्रिमेंटल छा रिडमिनेंटली यंग कंट्री भाई हुआ एक्सप्लोसिव लेवल में एस्पिरेशन थी तीनटा कुरा हमीर देख सद जिटरी बनाई रख चकचके बनाई रह क्या आज खिमलालजी ने यहाँ बट के भून यो यो नया संविधान समय दिपर् टाइम दिपर् आपको काम करो ठाकुर पुग् भन्न खिमलालजी को ग्रुपले नाइन्टीन नाइन्टी को संविधान प्रिसाइसली चार वर्ष दिया चौथों वर्ष में जनयुद्ध घोषणा गए हो तेस कारण हम कतुर छो आत्या छो भूरा बुझ् पर्च तर आत्ती ने आत्ती आतुर होने चकचके होने टाइम से होना मेस को एडभोकेसी कर संविधान मेरो मेरो नजर में मोरलेस लेजिटिमेट मोरलेस स्टेबल छ यो बस तब चाहे न चाहे भी यह बस इसका अर्थ राजनीतिक कारण भी छो कस लेट्स टेक दैट एज 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 समथिंग वी कैन लिव विथ एंड वर्क विथ वी विल गेट समवेयर जस्ट बी पेशेंट मेरे साइड बड़ नाइव न्यूट्रल एस्पिरेशनल फर्मुलेसन दुटा विश्लिस्ट भन न एटा चाहे पाए प्रधानमंत्री को एज लिमिट स्पेसिफाई कर दिए कंस्टिट्यूशनली ये ये भाग बज्न नपाइने ये वर्ष भाग नपाइने भाई खाल अर्क नेगेटिव भोटिंग है यो सब भाई अलग इंट्रेस्टिंग के तब नोटिस कि छेन इलेक्ट्रोल ट्रेन्ड्स हेन हो नंबर अफ भोटर्स घटी रखे हाई टू थाउजेंड एट देखि के अलग हेन चाहे एक्साइटमेंट होने में नंबर अफ भोटर्स घटी रखे हाउ डू वी गेट मोर वो पीपल टू कम एंड भोट इन इलेक्शन भाई स्पेशली द यूथ विच हु थिंक दैट मैं मैं यह पाली को लास्ट इलेक्शन में धेरेजनासंगा कर जाने भोट करना भाई फंडामेन्टल डेमोक्रेटिक एक्सरसाइज यूज नगर्ने भाई तो एक्सप्रेसन लुन ए फर्म से दून पर्च है तो फर्म कसरी दिने हाउ डू वी गेट देम टू द बूथ नट टू भोट पोलिटिकल पार्टीज और एटलिस्ट कास्ट ए भोट समवेयर इफ नट फर द पोलिटिकल पार्टीज है सो तो मेरे एट साइड बड़े एस्पिरेशनल फर्मुलेसन हो मे बी दीज आर थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू डिस्कस आई थिंक दिस स्टिल सो मेनी थिंग्स दैट वी हेवन बीन एबल टू डिस्कस बट विल स्टप देर है आई थिंक वी वॉन्ट टेक क्वेश्चन आई थिंक दीज आर फुड फर थट्स दैट वी कैन कंटिन्ू द कन्वर्सेशन मुविंग फर्वर्ड बट रेली थैंक यू राउंड अफ अप्लज इसो स्टूडियो सेट में ये अप्लज भिजा भैया सजी होते मे मे बी फर द नेक्स्ट राउंड अफ प्रोजेक्ट संवाद वी कैन हेव दैट 
board saying that applause and then somebody presses that and then everybody starts clapping. But thank you so much. I mean, we've come to the end of Project Sambat. Um, a, a shout out to everybody. Uh, I think this was a, a, a really good effort on the part of the collective. I'm really, really proud that we've been able to uh, develop a collective of institutions. Thank you everybody, all the collective members, uh, all the institutions uh, that have been part. Uh, we really, I think, are committed to this and hopefully we can grow this collective um, as, as we move into the next iterations of Project Sambat. Um, thank you to a lot of other institutions, including the Asia Foundation, the roundtables, uh, uh, bringing in the participants. It wouldn't have been possible um, without that support. Thank you, Rajendai and the Imaging team. I think this is a putting this into reality is um, uh, was a commendable task. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, thank you to all the speakers, participants, um, uh, for coming and joining the conversation. We've been able to discuss one thing, and this is the dates for the next round of Project Sambad. I can't really promise what is going to be the structure and the form. Um, but we really committed to take this initiative forward, and it's going to happen next year, March 13th and 14th. So book your calendar days. Uh, we've got a year to prepare for the next round of some bats. Uh, hopefully, it can be something very different. Do you expect something very different? Um, and what next? Who I do? Who do I need to thank more? Thank you so much. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> uh, but thank you, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, we have a networking session uh, right outside. Uh, thank you for your time. Good evening and bye-bye.